Ever wondered how the gum you always chew and blow the biggest bubbles with is made? Or even its origin? Well, bubblegum isn't just candy. It's the result of centuries of evolution, from ancient tree sap to modern factories blending science and creativity. Come something big from extra sugar-free gum. It's <laughs> pink, it's got NutraSweet, and a great classic bubblegum flavor. It's new extra classic bubblegum. And since it's extra, that big classic flavor lasts an extra, extra, extra long time. So if you're chewing something else, get ready for a tremendous breakthrough. But have you ever thought about what makes it stretchy, colorful, and oh so chewy? Today, let's take a fascinating journey into the process world to uncover how bubblegum is made. First, did you know people have been chewing gum in one form or another for thousands of years? Ancient societies had their forms even before bubblegum evolved into the chewy delight we know today. The Greeks utilized mastic tree resin. The Mayans chewed chicle, a naturally occurring sap from the sapodilla tree, while the Greeks preferred resin from the mastic tree. The Mayans gathered chicle, a milky material from the sapodilla tree. Different civilizations evolved their own variations over time therefore fostering a century-spanning custom. Cotton candy. Bubble gum. Cotton candy. Bubble gum. Cotton candy. Confused? Don't be. It's cotton candy that transforms into bubble gum. Cotton candy. Bubble gum. Cotton candy. Bubble gum. It's Airheads Cotton Candy Bubble Gum. Out of control. Then, John B. Curtis debuted the first spruce gum in the United States in the 19th century. That's when chewing gum started to become a commercial offering. But bubble gum began to take shape only in the early 20th century. The turning point came in 1928, when Walter Dimer, an accountant at the Fleer Company accidentally created the world's first successful bubblegum. His formula was stretchier, easier to chew, and perfect for blowing bubbles. Now, you might wonder, why then is bubblegum pink? Well, <laughs> it's just because at the time the lab only had this one dye on hand. Funny how such a little detail turned into a custom. From then, bubblegum swept over the planet, transforming a daily pleasure into a worldwide sensation. So, how is it made though? Bubblegum's trip starts with the gum base, the basis for its chewy texture. Early on, producers used chicle, a naturally occurring latex taken from the sapodilla tree. Workers would tap these trees to gather sap for gum base making. The industry then switched to synthetic substitutes as gum demand increased. These days, polyvinyl acetate and polyethylene are rather popular materials. These synthetic polymers guarantee constant quality and are more easily obtained therefore enabling gum to be mass-produced to satisfy world demand. Once the gum-based components are chosen, they are melted together under high temperatures into a thick, sticky liquid. After that, this molten mix is gently filtered to eliminate any contaminants, therefore guaranteeing a smooth and clean basis. This painstaking process prepares the gum to be flavored and sweetened, therefore adding life to it. Now, the magic that makes bubblegum enticing should be brought in once the gum base is ready. Still warm and flexible, the basis is moved to large industrial mixers. Here, the chewy basis becomes the delicious delicacy we know and enjoy. Sweeteners such as sugar or corn syrup are added to these mixtures to provide the gum its taste. Moreover, corn syrup is essential for maintaining the gum's moisture, which helps to prevent it drying out gradually. Then, there are the softeners such as glycerin, which guarantees the gum stays elastic rather than hardens. The flavors come next. Bubblegum obtains their distinctive fruitish taste here. At last, food safe coloring is blended to produce any other vivid color the manufacturer prefers or that trademark pink hue. With heavy duty paddles fully combining all the ingredients to produce a smooth, uniform dough-like texture, the mixing is intensive. Perfect for blowing bubbles, this stage offers bubblegum its distinctive chewiness and stretching ability without breaking. Once the gum mixture has been completely combined, it's time to shape it into the shapes we see in stores. The soft, dough-like gum is transferred to rolling machines, which flatten it into enormous, homogeneous sheets. These machines press the gum into precise thickness, ensuring that each piece is consistent whether it will be sliced into sticks, pellets, or little fragments. The flattened gum is then sliced into final shapes using precise cutters. Stick gum sheets are sliced into thin rectangular strips, 
and pellets or balls are created with specialized molds. Each cut or mold is meticulously calibrated to ensure that the gum pieces are the perfect size for chewing and blowing bubbles. Before proceeding, quality checks are performed to evaluate the gum's elasticity and texture. Samples are stretched, eaten, and even blown into bubbles to get the ideal stretchiness and chewiness ratio. This attention to detail ensures a pleasurable chew in each piece of gum. After clearing all of the testing, the gum proceeds to the cooling stage. This stage is very important since freshly mixed gum is still warm and mushy, which makes it prone to lose its form. The gum bits are sent through cooling tunnels under closely regulated temperature. This procedure guarantees the gum is ready for the last phases by allowing it to firm up without turning brittle. The gum is neatly sliced into final forms once cold. Whether they are cubes, pellets, or sticks, the cutting machines are designed to create consistent, easily chewable and handled bits. This step's precision guarantees that every component satisfies consumer expectations by looking and feeling exactly the same, so fulfilling the quality criteria. The gum is then ready for its trip into packaging. To prevent the pieces from sticking together, they're often dusted with a fine coating, such as powdered sugar or a food-grade anti-sticking agent. This simple step ensures the gum doesn't clump during storage or transport. From there, the gum moves to the packaging stage which is just as precise as every other step in the process. Individual items could be stacked for convenience or wrapped in vibrant paper. Larger quantities, like gumballs or pellets, are packaged in bulk containers for retail or vending machines. Every type of packaging is carefully designed to keep the gum fresh and appealing while making it easier for consumers to enjoy. This stage is also where branding shines. Logos, colors, and designs on the packaging make each brand stand out on the store shelves. By the time the gum is boxed and ready for distribution, it's not just a product. It's a treat waiting to be enjoyed. But, although bubblegum is entertaining to eat, we never consider how it affects the surroundings. Let me explain. Modern gum bases are made from synthetic polymers, which are essentially forms of plastic. These materials don't break down easily, which means that every piece of gum carelessly tossed onto the ground could stick around for years. Actually, in many cities, gum is among the most often used forms of litter, second only to cigarette butts. For municipalities, cleaning up abandoned gum takes time and money. Gum from sidewalks and public areas often need special cleaning tools or chemical treatments. Occasionally, animals confuse gum for food, which causes stomach problems or choking. Attempts are in way to solve these problems. Some businesses are testing biodegradable gum bases composed of more easily breaking down natural ingredients. Also attracting interest are recycling projects like Gumdrop, which transforms discarded gum into new goods. Though a little treat, Bubblegum's environmental impact reminds us of the need of wise usage and disposal. A little attention to how we use and discard gum can have a tremendous impact. Now that you know how Bubblegum is made, here's something to think about. If scientists could create a Bubblegum that never loses its flavor or chewiness, would you try it? Let us know your thoughts as you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos like this one.